soon enough you're going to find out that there are some things that are not possible uh, using VLOOKUP function and then you uh, look for some alternatives so for example uh, let's say uh, uh, what I'm doing with a VLOOKUP is uh, finding a stock number so I'm gonna copy one of the stocks over here and uh, a lot of times for this stock let's say I would want to find uh, the actual price for it right here so using a VLOOKUP function I would do equals VLOOKUP right and that's my search uh, key right here and then I have my table where the stock number needs to be the first column so right there and I lock the table with F4 and one two three it's the third column and finally it is not sorted which is false or zero now if you're not sure what I'm doing right here go back and watch the first VLOOKUP video I'm not covering VLOOKUP in particular in this case we're covering different functions right now to substitute VLOOKUP so uh, if I enter I'm getting the price right so so far so good now what if I wanted to get the product name so I'm searching for the product uh, stock number but I want to get the product name I don't want the type not price not cost I want a column that's located to the left of my stock numbers column so VLOOKUP cannot have a negative column index so I cannot do like negative one for my column index to go back and I also cannot select the whole table because if I do select the whole table it's going to search in the first column right so this is where we're stuck using VLOOKUP so VLOOKUP is not gonna give me the product name so I can't use VLOOKUP for that the only option for me is to move the column so I would have to either move the stock number column to the left or move the product name column to the right so I could actually do that lookup and find the product name now this is where you can use different functions to achieve this and the combination of functions we'll be talking about today is index and match so to understand how index and match works, I'm going to start with the index function by itself. And again, we're only covering index function as a substitution for VLOOKUP today. Uh, if you want index function in detail, you may want to watch index function video by itself. But right now we have index function. The, the first thing in our index function is what is called a reference. So what I'm going to do is highlight this column of product names. And I'm not including the label in it. So again, with these ranges, you also always want to lock them. So I'm going to hit F4 to lock the range because we don't want, want the range moving up and down, similar to how we lock the VLOOKUP tables. So again, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, go back and watch the first VLOOKUP video. So comma and the row is the second argument. So I'm going to go, just go ahead and put something like six in here there's also the optional column we're not going to be using it so just row is fine so first I'm providing the range and the second one is number six so if I hit enter I'm getting this Nike train ultra fast whatever that is so what does that mean so basically what this means our index function looked in this range and started counting one two three four five six and returns the sixth item because I'm typing six so so far so good let's make enough space for it so it doesn't cover our match function column so the next thing we're going to do is use our match function so I'm going to do equals match and match function syntax is a lot similar to VLOOKUP syntax in a way so the first thing is the search key so the search key is what we're searching for so again I'm going to highlight the stock number I'm searching for that stock number comma and the second one is the range where I'm looking for the stock number now if you remember in VLOOKUP we highlight the entire table as our table array or table range whatever we call it now in match function you cannot highlight the entire table match function can only search for something only in the single column or a single row 
So therefore my range is gonna be this range of stock numbers. So I'm searching for this stock number in this range of stock numbers. And again, not including the labels in this case. I'm going to hit F4 to lock that range again for the same reason I've mentioned before. Again, if you're not sure, go back and watch the first VLOOKUP video. So uh, again, comma. Now, the, the third argument in our VLOOKUP function is the column index, if you remember. Now, there's no column index because we're just working with a single column, right? So finally, the last argument is the search type. So again, if you want exact match, zero would be your exact match. So we want an exact match. So I'm going to do go with a zero. So I'm going to hit enter at this point. And what I'm getting is a four. So what does that mean? So again, uh, to explain you what that means, we're saying let's search for this item that ends with five to four in this range. So we're searching from the top of this range. Is this this one? No. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? No. Is it this one? Yes. So that was one, two, three, four, number four item. So therefore we get a return four from our match function. So uh, what we will do is use a combination of these two functions together. And by combining them, we'll get something dynamic. So our index function is not dynamic. We just hard coded this number six in it. So if we wanted the number four, we would have typed number four. So it would go one, two, three, four, and find the fourth item in there. So what we can do is replace that hard coded number that we have in our index function with our match function, which is going to be dynamically searching and finding what that number should be. So in this case, if you look here, I'm hitting number four, right, in index function. And that item is one, two, three, four. It's this SB zoom, whatever that is right here. And if we look in our match function, it returns four. And how did it return four? It was looking for the stock number over here in this in here. One, two, three, four. And it found out that that item was number four in this range dynamically. And now we can use that four inside of our index function to actually return instead of just a four, the actual product name out of it. So let's do an example of it. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my match function equals match. So again, I'll basically repeat what I did with my match function. I'm going to look for the stock number, comma, and I'm looking for that stock number in this range of stock numbers. So again, F4 to lock the range, comma, and finally zero as an exact match. So also there is one which is going to be similar to like approximate match in our VLOOKUP. But right now, zero, I'm going to hit enter, it's returning four. So what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to go in and carefully, I'm going to highlight my formula, not including the equal sign, I'm including the entire match function. I'm going to press my control X or command X to cut it. And we'll go ahead now and start with our index function. So I'm going to start index. That's my function. So the first thing in our index function is the reference which is what we need ret need returned. So in this case, it's gonna be this list of all product names. So I'm gonna hit F4 to lock that range of product names, comma. And this is where we usually just type number five or six or seven, the, the fifth item or the sixth, uh, sixth item or the first item, that's the item we want. So instead of just typing one or two, three, four, I'm simply going to, after this comma, just paste my match function, which is dynamically going to find the product a stock code and then return which number it is. And again, I have to be careful here and make sure I close this parenthesis for index function. So you may notice that I do some spaces here. These are not necessary. I just do them to make it more, make this more readable. So here we go. So that's my match function. The match function is going to return our number of item that we have. And then we're going to have our index function, which is going to return the actual name. Let's hit enter. So there it is. So if you look, this stock number, five to four, right here, and we go to the left and pick up this item. How cool is that? So if we go ahead and change the stock item by something else, it's going to automatically update. And this is 903. Let's find it. There it is, Nike Free Connect. So there it is, we got it. So that's our index and match, how you can use them together 
to actually make something similar to VLOOKUP. We can actually use this exactly like VLOOKUP, right, if we wanted to. So what I mean by that is, let's say we have this stock number, and I'm going to put it over here and make some space for it. And let's say we just want to search for the stock number, similar to, similar to VLOOKUP, which is 857, and then go retrieve the price for it, how we did it. So again, I'm going to now just type the formula at once without just typing one and copying and pasting. So I'm going to start with my index function. And my index function needs a range that needs to be returned as an end result. So we need price as an end result. So therefore, that's going to be all of these price items over here. So F4 to lock it, comma. So the next thing is the row. So the row needs to be returned using the match function. So we'll go ahead and type match. So the first thing is the search key. So we're searching for this stock item, comma. We're looking for that stock item in this column of stock items. And again, it's very important to make sure that, uh, see, since I didn't include the label for the price on top, uh, I also want to make sure I don't include the label here. And generally speaking, including labels is not a good practice, although a lot of times people do it and it still works. So if we, you highlight it starting from this price all the way down and from the stock number all the way down, it would have still worked. So comma, and finally, zero as an exact match. And we'll close our match function. We'll do another parentheses to close our index function. Hit enter. There it is, 125 for number 857. There it is. So that's basically a direct replacement for our VLOOKUP function using index and match functions. And again, a lot of times you don't need to use this unless you need to retrieve something that's located to the left of your column that has the values where you're searching. So in this case, since the stock number we're searching is located here, and the product name is to the left, we use index and match to be able to actually go ahead and retrieve the item name. And you again can use index and match the same way to, you know, just uh, combine two tables or uh, it, you know, pull values from another table. So let's do a quick example of that. I'm going to go to this merge data tab and I'm going to just clear all of these costs. So let's say we want to use index match to be able to pull some information from this table to this table, right? And uh, what I'm going to do here, I will go ahead and move this cost column to here. So we'll do some good index match example and stock number is not actually the first column. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my index. So index function is going to need uh, what I need return. So I want the costs. So I'm going to highlight all of these costs right here. F4 to lock it, very important part. Otherwise, if you don't lock it, this table is going to move down and then halfway through as you're copying this formula down, you're not including half of your items. Very important. So comma. So the next thing is the row index. So we'll start with our match function again. And the first thing is going to be the search key. So we're going to be searching for the stock item in our current table. And we'll be searching for that stock item in this second table where our data is. So we're, we'll highlight all of this stock items. That's where we're searching. Again, it has to be a single column, not a table. Very important because this is a match function, not VLOOKUP, comma. And this is going to be zero as an exact match. And we'll close our parentheses finally for our index function. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And we can go ahead, go to the corner, drag this down, and copy the formula down. And you should be able 590. You should be able to see that the cost is 14820. And for example, 839. Let's spot check that too. That should be 86 and 80. 839, there it is, 86 and 80. So there it is, that's your index and match function.